were singing. Oh, I thought we were playing the Iron Throne. You mean Escape from Iron Gate? Okay, it's Escape from Iron Gate by the Gate Just kidding. Okay. Welcome to Iron Gate Prison. Not where anyone would chose to spend their time, but for now, home sweet home. You and your friend have been wrongfully accused of a crime and don't belong behind bars. You've made your case first to the judge, then to the warden, but no one is buying it. Looks like there's only one path to freedom. A good old-fashioned prison break. Well, today is the day. You're going to make a run for it. The good news? One of you is going to make it out. The bad news? Only one of you is going to make it out. Your objective is to escape Iron Gate Prison by moving through each of the four areas on the board. From the cell block to the yard, to cafeteria, to the warden's office, then finally to freedom! In order to progress to the next area, you'll need to turn in the items on your gate card to the commissary. Items are collected by completing puzzles, drawings, acting, and training. Players have passed us through the final gate. First win. Hey guys, today we are going to unbox Escape from Iron Gate from the Escape Game. We know them really well because we've been to their location many times in many locations in USA. Um, the, this is actually based on one of their escape rooms called the Prison Break. It looks like we're going to have to act your solve your way to freedom. Let's look at the back of the box. By the way, this box is quite heavy. I think there's a lot of items in there. Um, it's good for three to eight players. We got 45 to 60 minutes for 13 up in terms of age and uh, unlimited replayability. Oh my goodness. That means that you can just uh, keep playing forever. Ha! Huh? Let's see. Let's open this up. Oh, quite heavy. First thing we get is an escape manual. As you can see, this is the type of manual that will be taking us breaks in the middle to understand. But the uh, good thing is that they actually have a video website of this at escapefromirongate.com. So if you don't want to read through this, you can probably just go to their uh, website for that. Um, as we are going through this though, I'm probably gonna let you guys know what I find in there, but there is a lot of items. So are we ready? Let's do this. All right. First thing, obviously, is the game board. I'm gonna take this on the side. The game board has a start, obviously, quite big. Um, and you have some, this cafeteria area, warden's office. So then this is your escape from the iron gate area on the left, which means that you're probably gonna have to go from the start, try to puzzle your way through, and then you're gonna get to the yard and somehow get to the cafe, then to the warden office, and then the iron gate. This is what I see from not understanding any rules at all. Now you have action cards, puzzle cards, lucky cards, rare cards, and common items. Let's see what they look like. First of all, this is a decoder, so you'll probably need this item in a bit. Then we have two reference cards. I'm not sure what these are for yet. Puzzle, puzzle puzzle, action, and then we have lucky cards, rare cards, common cards, and then we have gay cards. Oh my goodness! Even before we start, it looks like things are starting to already get very puzzly. We have a timer, which is very important in games, because we're so competitive. No, we're not. Um, and two pencils, which is very, very necessary. And then along with that, obviously, we're gonna get a notepad. Then these are like the play pieces. They're so cute though, look. They're like these like little, I don't know, like stars or like little game. But then obviously, if you have little kids at home, please be careful not to let them swallow these they're quite small 
last but not least, we have the awesome dices. Okay, so you have like really big ones. And then you have four regular ones. Oh, you can reuse these for like drinking games or something. After all this, I'm gonna try my best to set up the game for you guys and see how it's played so you can save some time when you need to set it up uh, to play in the future. All right, sounds good? Let's get cracking. And since we're playing with only two players today, we are going to have our third player, Lily the Peekaboo. Lily, Lily, hello. Lily, it's time to, time to select a token. Wow, which one do you want? The yellow one? Okay, you're the yellow token player. All right, guys, so after hearing from the online um, tutorial, because this is a lot of reading, uh, I the simplest way I can tell you is I probably got 50% of it. And what we're supposed to do here is, first thing is to roll the dice. Um, as we're rolling the dice, we're probably going to get either a choice of AP, PP, or AA. And those will give you options of drawing either a luckier puzzle, luckier action, or puzzle in action card. So from there, then you would either choose to do the puzzle or do the action, or um, you know, there's a lucky item, which if you get one, that would be awesome. Because with that lucky item, you're able to trade it with the commissary. Um, every single area has a item that if you have it on your card which you're going to get is a gay card once you actually have that special item then from the gay card um, you're able to give it to the commissionary and then that grants you an access to the next area so your goal obviously for this game is to get as many special items that are needed to be able to get through the areas in order to escape at the end from the area where we are starting, see our little pieces here? Those are tokens. Um, it doesn't really matter where you place them. You're not going to get an advantage for placing here, there, or there. Everybody's going to have the same starting point, which is all the uh, equally dingy and depressing cells. From there, you're going to have to choose three common, well not choose, you're going to be dealt with three common cards. Everybody's going to have that in their hand, and also four gay cards from each area. So one per each area, and there's four areas, so you're gonna get four gay cards and three common cards. From there, the youngest player will go first, which is me. Wait, no, hold on. In this case, it's Lily the Peekaboo. Um, from there, they'll go first and then followed by the players to the left. So when it's your turn, remember, you gotta roll the dice, pick the cards, and then you can either trade with other players or trade with the commissary or path a gate or just take no action. According to the, um, the situation that we read through the uh, instructions, it's best to utilize your cards very carefully and trade very often. And then there's definitely a strategy here in order for you to you know, get to the end first. The decoder card is what you will use to disclose either clues or answers on the puzzle card. The action cards will either let you act or draw. Personally, I will probably choose act. Three words. Uh, exit, ex exit out. Exo, exo diagonal, exo line, exo x, exo uh, cross, uh, tic-tac-toe. Ready to guess? Lily. Fetch. Yes! But, uh, you know, you might see an ugly thumb drawing uh, from me here and there. The best item to get in the rear item section is a cake. Who doesn't love cake? That's a wild card. You can use that for any item. So, Brendan, can I please have the cake card? Um, no. <laughs> there, we're probably going to start the game. And then I think the best thing about learning is actually being able to play um, in real time. And that's probably gonna give us a better result in terms of to see if we actually learn the game or not. 
So what are we waiting for? Let's start! Something out. 